And we are back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lag, and this is Project Castaway, a game where we find ourselves stranded on a tropical island. And don't worry if you're a fan of Seven Days to Die. I'm still uploading that. This is just a little something extra on the side that we're going to be playing through. Uh, it's an early access, so I don't know how much of the game there is for us to play. Although I do believe we can actually get one ending, so that's pretty cool. And full disclosure, I was given a key for this game way back for beta testing. And now that it's out in early access, a lot's been added since I beta tested it. But I do know the mechanics, so just want to disclose that. Let's jump into it. This is James Alibury. I'm recording this in the middle of a storm, one that came out of nowhere. My plane's instruments are failing. Radio, communications, GPS, all gone. But if anyone finds this, I need you to know why I'm here. I'm searching for my uncle, Seamus Alibury. He was more than just family. He was my hero. He worked as an on-site researcher and archaeologist for Morden Pole Inc., a company with a reputation that's as murky as the waters were flying over. The last time we spoke, he told me he was heading to the site of the legendary Golden Horizon, a place that's shrouded in mystery and danger. I begged him not to go, but he felt he had no choice. My mother is sick, and my father's been gone for years. I think Uncle Seamus took that job because he felt responsible like he had to take care of us. But now he's been missing for 14 months, and Mordenpole's giving me the runaround. The police have been no help either, so I've decided to take matters into my own hands. I found a set of coordinates in his home office, clues to where he might have gone. My plan was to start in the Caribbean and work my way to the Pacific. But now, I'm not so sure I'll make it. If this is the end for me, please, let it be known that Shane's Alfred was a good man. He didn't deserve whatever happened to him. And if I don't make it, someone out there, please, continue the search. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like we got a missing uncle to find. And I'm gonna find him. But first, I'm gonna crash into the ocean, apparently. Here we go. <laughs> Bracing for impact. You don't even want to try to pull back on the stick at all? Nope. Okay, into the water. <laughs> okay, I'm alive. That's a good start. Up to the surface we go. And the search for Uncle Seamus has begun. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. All right, let's just swim for sure. And when we get there, we'll figure out what's what and who's who. For now, we got a long swim ahead of us. Okay, wow. All right. Is that lightning? What am I hearing? Looks, looks like there might be some neighboring islands. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do some island hopping. If you ever played... Uh, Stranded Deep, this seems very similar, but also there's some stuff from Green Hell in here too, so you might be familiar with both those games or neither, neither of those games, but I'll guide you through it as we play. Got some small sticks here, we'll pick those up, that's always a good start, and some cloth, probably good. Metal sheets, okay, and a sign, and a barrel, give me that barrel. I'm gonna head down the beach until we find a place suitable to set up for our base. I think... In the first episode, it is smart to get food, water, shelter. And so that's going to be the focus of today's game. So not a lot of exploring today, but uh, we'll see what's what as this series goes along. There might be a lot of exploring to do. Rocks? Okay, we can smash these. That's right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why? Why? <laughs> Why has this already started? Don't you mess with me. I'll go in the water. Bugs don't like water. I know that much. He's in the water. He likes the water. I don't know shit. Okay. I'm going to run past him, maybe? He's stuck in the water forever? Good. Drown. I hope you drown. All right, give me this and give me that. And give me my barrel back. And let's head down the beach. Ooh, it's sunny. Look at this. Oh, mysterious radio tower in the distance. Okay, that's for exploring. Today's not exploring day. Let's keep it moving. Oh, I have come across a whole pile of sticks. I'll grab as many as the game will let me. There we go. Okay, that's as many as it's going to let me. Uh, more cloth? Yeah, want that. Okay. Feel pretty good about this. Let's keep it moving. Look how nice this looks. It's so pretty. And then, yeah, islands across the way there. So, obviously, we're going to be able to make some sort of raft or boat to get around in. You know what? Do you know what? This looks like a nice little nook for a, a base right here. Oh, yeah, I could see my shelter wedged up in there in those trees. Yeah, somewhere right around here looks good. Picturesque. This is perfect. Let's just drop this here for now. 
Okay, so when I say food, water, shelter, I guess we'll just start with the food then. Out with the book. Got all these tabs we can flip through. Fire, shelter, storage, nourishment, tools, weapons, arrows, and then up top, bandages and medicines and stuff, raft bases and raft components. We got farming up in here. Utility, and, and a lot of these sections actually have multiple pages of stuff you can flip through. Blueprints, so I guess we can find blueprints. Plain blueprints, hello? So yeah, I guess we can get out of here if we make a plane. Yeah, escape, look at that. Radio tower, uh, Harper's notes, Lieutenant Thompson's notes, bottled notes. Okay, so we got information about our energy, sanity, and vitamins and protein. Plus, look at all these treasures we can find. There's so much to do, and then here's your skills. And I think as you do stuff, these naturally level up. As you level up, you can then unlock better stuff like a silver axe, a gold axe, you know? But for now, it looks like we have three different fires I can make. And I'm definitely going to make this metal barrel stove. You can cook on the grill. This one lets you cook on the rocks. And this one just provides you warmth and light. So yeah, I think the metal barrel stove. And then yeah, we'll just slap it out here turn it to face where my base is eventually going to be. Where's my base going to be at? Maybe right there. And then we'll just do that. And then we'll grab you. And then I'll throw you in. Ha! We're well on our way. I need uh, five small sticks and one, two metal sheets. Oh, we saw metal sheets way back there. Should probably go ahead and make a tool of some kind. Where's the starter axe? All right, stone axe. Stone shard, rope, small sticks. I think it starts you with a rope, so we're good there. And then also maybe a weapon of some kind. Just a wooden knife for now. Okay. And we can hold out our backpack. And if, uh, yeah, I don't like where these are slotted right now. So I'm going to move that into my two slot. Put that one in my one slot. And then we can go in the backpack. I've got orange juice, some cloth I picked up. There's that rock shard. And I've got even more inventory space. And then that's where my sticks go. So there you go. I can put some small sticks in here. I have them. So all we need are the two metal uh, sheets. Okay, cool. And then probably something to cook also. Although I'm not terribly hungry right now. I noticed we have like a vegetable and a meat bar, plus your overall hunger, plus hydration, plus sanity, and I guess energy. Maybe energy is the lightning bolt, sanity is the brain. Okay. So we probably have to sleep to cure sanity and in uh, energy. Let's see if we can find a metal sheet. Yeah, there's one. We need two though. One's not going to cut it. Oh, I think I see another one. And boom. Grab some sticks while I'm here. Thank you very much. And we head back to camp. All right, add those. And look at that. It's done. That's awesome. Okay, we'll put sticks in there. Just throw a couple in there for now. I'm not going to start it. No point. I don't really have anything to cook. Uh, next thing. Water. Water. Food. Water. Shelter. Water. There is a water collector. Perfect. Okay, so this is going to take large sticks, banana leaves, a turtle shell, and some rope. And like I said, I used the rope to make the axe. The one they gave us in our backpack. So I'm going to need to find a different way to make... Oh, here we go. Use to craft yucca leaves into rope. Okay, so a spinning... Okay, let's put this down first. And then the spinning wheel will just slap down right next to this. Okay. Okay, I got to get started. Large sticks. All right, one thing at a time. Large sticks. If I were a large stick, what would I be? I would be a uh, palm tree? Those are probably logs. But maybe we could chop them into sticks. Maybe. Maybe there's some stick trees around here. Something skinny that we can chop up. A little skinny tree. Skinny tree. I'm not really seeing any skinny trees around here. Okay, I'll just chop down you. And we'll see what happens. There we go. Did I just see a crab walk by? That could be dinner. I could, surely I could kill a crab with my little wooden knife I made. Oh, watch out, timber! Oh, yeah, logs. There we go. Grab a couple of those. Third one right there. What else did you drop? Palm fronds. And did you drop a coconut by any chance? Because that would be awesome if you did. Doesn't look like it, but maybe under the palm fronds. All right, first things first, though. Little bit of survival science. Drop these guys off, and then let me see if I can turn these into long sticks. And we're chopping. And large sticks, four of them. Okay, that's good. So what are we making first? What should I make first? I need to make I need to make rope, so I need to do this first. Okay, that takes small sticks. Are you kidding me? Okay, well I'll put you in here for now. Oh, I bet I can turn the long sticks into small sticks. Hold on, science. All right, I'm about to science you, sticks. Small stick, come on. Yes, perfect. Oh, what's happening? Oh no! 
Get, get, get. I got, oh, I got him. Hornet. Put that in my pocket. Can I cook a hornet? I don't know. Do I, do I want to eat a hornet? Probably not. It's probably not very good. One more small stick. Okay. And it goes in there. Wait, goes in there. Okay, now metal sheet. Did I bring... Did I already use all those metal sheets? Okay, we gotta go get more metal sheets. Bird! Come here! Oh, did I get him? Did I get him? No, he flew off. I'm gonna get you. Get him eventually. Oh, crabs. Here we go. Come here, crab. Come here, crab. <laughs> use my little wooden knife. I'm gonna get you. Eventually, I'm gonna get you. Gotcha. Okay, let's break them apart. We got a crab arm and a crab arm and a crab body. Eating that tonight. All right, more metal sheets. Find them. I think I saw some back here when we first washed ashore. Didn't I? Yes, I did. There's three of them right here. One. Oh, God. That hornet's back. The one that I thought's round. Ha. Gotcha. I'm getting good at killing hornets. Take that. Maybe we will have some hornet tonight. Or make poison arrows out of them. I don't really know what you do with a hornet. What is that? Why is that? Is that a Komodo dragon? It is. Yeah, I should leave that alone for now. I don't think my little wooden knife is going to kill that thing. All right, it's chasing me. I'm going. Okay, add this. And that's our spinning wheel done. Let's throw these onto the side over here. And then what? how do I make rope out of you? Add a yucca leaf. Okay, got to find yucca. Now, lucky for me, I've played a lot of these games. And the one thing they all have in common is yucca. And they all look the same. So easy to find if you know what you're looking for. And this is a little yucca tree. Oh, there we go. Okay, pick up all those leaves. You get a lot of leaves. All right, good, good, good. And then now we can make rope. Add a leaf. Hold to spin. Oh, it actually spins. Pick up rope. Okay, cool. We got rope now. I'm just going to turn the rest of these uh, yuccas into rope. Then I can finish making my rain catcher. Okay, I got a stupid amount of rope in here now. So I'm just going to put some of this on the beach until we get some storage situated. Yeah, do that. How many more do I have? Oh, yeah. Got some over here, too. And boom. All right, good. Now, you needed rope, right? Right. A turtle shell, banana leaves, and four more large sticks. Okay, here's one. Three more large sticks. All right, let's go find a banana tree. That should be easy to spot. Bunch of palm frog. Oh, yeah, here we go. That's the banana tree. Right here, right? Yep. Chop it down. Hopefully, we get some bananas off this thing, too. I am hungry. Man, I've already reached level three in melee. That's probably good. All right, grab these. Cool. Throw them in. Maybe eat a banana. Maybe eat two bananas. And then maybe drink this juice that came with my backpack. Although this might be a mistake, I'm going to do it because I have nothing to drink and I am getting a little thirsty. Now I've got to find another banana tree, but there's one right here. That should be enough of the banana leaves. Then we can work on getting the sticks, and then we should have water and food sorted, and then the next thing we'll do is shelter. I think it's about to start raining, actually, which is perfect, because if I get this done in time, I can actually catch this water for us, and it'll be nice and clean. Okay, I gotta find a turtle, too? I didn't think about that. Oh, crap. All right, let's walk around the beach a little bit, and then maybe I'll see a turtle somewhere. That's crab, definitely not a turtle. Stick. Whoa, look at all these resources washed up to shore. Cloth, sticks, metal... Tires, signs, okay. See something moving up ahead. Is that a turtle or is that a Komodo dragon? What are you? What are you? It's a turtle! It's exactly what I'm looking for. All right, don't you run from this. This is happening today. Get him, wooden knife. Get him! Come on. Don't fight this. Let it happen. I gotta hit you in the head, I think. Oh, this, this is tough. I hit you in the tail. Death by a thousand cuts. Your poor tail. I just need your shell if you just want to crawl out of it and let me have it. I don't really know how that works, though. Is that part of your body? I think it is. You're not like a crab that can move from shell to shell, are you? I'm so sorry. If you would just die already, that'd be great for my stamina and my energy, though. I don't have all day for this. Die. Oh, we need a better weapon. We need a better weapon. Come on, turtle. Oh, we got him. First try. Come here. Give me that shell. Yep, shell. Look at that. And we got ourselves some raw meat. Some turtle meat. Oh, turtle and crab. We're going to have a great night tonight. Looks like it stopped raining, though, so I'm not going to be able to collect any water. 
All right, turtle shell goes in, and now we just need some more large sticks. Let's find some. Man, it got dark with the clouds. It's only, oh, it's 6 p.m. already? Jeez, I've wasted the whole day. All right, hold on. We just got to keep chopping. I haven't even started my shelter yet. What time did I land? All right, I crashed. What time did I crash? I feel like half the day was wasted. Uh, Just one log? Okay. Chop it up. You know the drill. I guess we're working through the night tonight, burning the midnight oil. Sticks, 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 and in you go. Water collector, sweet. Food, water, done. I guess since it's nighttime, it's probably a good time to actually light this, maybe cook some food. I'm not very hungry, but I don't want any of this raw meat to go bad. Maybe it'll last longer when it's cooked. Oh yeah, it looks nice. Got smoke coming off of it and everything. All right, turtle meat goes on. Cook that first, then we'll cook up that crab. Oh, no guesswork at all. It's got little hourglasses. You know when they're done. Oh, then the hourglasses turn into forks. Okay, perfect. So all three of those are done. Let's get the uh, crab claw. Crab claw. Crab body on there. All right, crab's done. I guess I can nibble on a little bit of it. Save some for breakfast. We'll have a uh, crab body. That's pretty good. Did that fill me up? Yeah, that filled me all the way up. So I guess we'll just save the rest of this for morning. Uh, but for now, also, though, I do need a shelter of some kind. Looks like we have some prefab options. We got a palm bed, an elevated bed, a lean-to shelter. You know what? Let's just throw one of these out real quick. We'll make a bed to slap underneath it, and I think we can sleep through the night. Oh, boy. We have a visitor. No. Leave me alone. I'm trying to chop. No. Okay. Good God. Oh, no. Could you go back to where you came from? Oh, I have nothing to fight this guy with. Just gonna run down the beach. Maybe he'll leave me alone. Yeah, it seems like he is kind of cooled off a little bit. All right, I'm gonna run him back around this way. Continue chopping up that wood so I can finish my lean to. It's already 10:15 at night. By the time I get this project done, it's gonna be morning. All right, add some more sticks. All right, it's done. That's good. Now I need to put a bed in there. For now, I'll just do one of these little palm beds right there. Okay, six palm fronds. Well, I don't have any. I have one. Okay, I think I've collected enough palm fronds. This should finish the bed, and then I can go to sleep. Get some of my sanity back, get some of my energy back. Let's see how this works. Okay, hop in. Oh, that's nice. We can save our game from here, too. That's perfect. Do a little save. We can select how many hours we want to sleep. Let's just go for a full seven. Let's do it. Ah, sun's coming up. All right, that's good. Sanity and energy are all the way back up. But my thirst went down, so we can drink some water here. 100% fresh. That's good. How much does that fill me up? Ooh, yeah, it's still going. That's pretty good. Yeah, we can have some crab for breakfast. Let's get some of that in us. A couple of crab arms. Fill me right. Oh, yeah, I'm all the way full. Food, water, sanity, energy. Oh, my God, all we need is shelter now. I mean, I kind of did make shelter, but not really. Not what I want to make. I'm going to make what I want to make. I'm going to need a new tool. And that is the stone hammer. To which I do not have the required ingredients. Okay, what am I missing? I think I need another stone shard and probably a rope. Okay, got to go find some stone now. I'm going to bring all this back to base with me. There's three of them right here. Hopefully that Komodo dragon doesn't see me. Nothing to see here, sir. I'm going to kill you one day and eat you. And smash it. There we go. Grab one of those shards. And I think... I could probably make the hammer now. There we go. Okay, so now I can start building. Yeah, I can. Look at that. We got a foundation right here. Uh, turned it a little bit. Maybe put it right about... Right about... Right about... There. And one in front of it. Two on each side. One. Two. One. Two. Starter rectangle. Perfect. Then I can flip through this menu, hopefully find some stairs, found them, put those on the front, and there we go. That is the start of my base. Uh, 14 logs to fill this all in. Okay, I got a couple of logs right here, but not 14, that's for sure. Get started on this. Looks like I'm chopping trees down all day. Except I'm kind of a weirdo. I really like keeping the view sort of as it is. I mean, I don't want an empty field behind my house. Look how pretty that is with all the palm trees. So I'm going to have to get my palm trees from like over here definitely grab like these palm trees right here that way it won't mess up my beautiful view anywho 
Long day of chopping. There, that should be enough logs. I should be able to finish the foundations for my base here. Put those in, just a few more will do. Last two going on now. Boom, bam, base done. Well, it's not even close to being done. It needs walls and a roof, but you get the idea. Look at this, I actually have a base. Oh, it's raining, good. Fill up my turtle shell again. Okay, door, we have options. You could do like wood, you could do metal. Or you could do palm fronds, and since I have a whole bunch of palm fronds from all the trees I just cut down, I think that's what I'm going to do. Why is it telling me I can't do it? Yes, I can. I did it. Let's do a window. We've got the same options with the windows. So we're going to go palm frond with the windows and walls. Let's do a window in the back. And I think everything else could just be solid walls. There, there, and there. Okay, now I've just got to fill all of this in. And hopefully it's just palm fronds. But probably not. Yep, lots of sticks. Need a lot of large sticks, too. Dang it. Okay. My axe is going to break soon, so we'll have to repair it. Well, I don't think you can repair it. What I think you have to do is just make a new axe. But I should have rope, and I think it's just a rope and a rock shard, so should be able to repair it no problem. I'm going to have to chop down a few, couple more, few more palm trees if I want to get those 27 large sticks and the rest of those palm fronds. But, as you can see, I have kept the integrity of the landscape behind the base. I think I could tear this down if I want to with my hammer. Yeah, it says I can use the hammer to break this down. Same with the bed. So yeah, that's what I'll do as soon as our house is built. Oh, look at this. Small tree. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit easier. Drop those down and do this one. How many can I carry? Oh, I broke the axe. I knew that was going to happen. That's why we got a rope pile and a stone shard pile. Can I make... Oh yeah, so I've unlocked the ability to make... A granite axe. I just don't have any granite. And then the next one I unlock is the bronze axe. But for now, stone axe. So I guess that they'll uh, they'll probably last longer. The better quality they are. Kidding me? Sun's going down again. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Why did it sound like a lion was attacking me? Was that the Komodo dragon? It was. All right, that's it. We dance. I'll kill you with this knife. It's the last thing I do. Don't you bite me. You have dangerous bacteria in your saliva. I know all about you. I read about you in National Geographic. Go and get. Go and get. I can do this all day. All day. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Run for your life. I won't spare it. Deserve every... Yeah, you deserve that. Komodo dragon. Killed it. Oh, my goodness. What do we have here? Komodo skin and raw meat. Okay, we're eating dragon tonight. Uh, I seem to have some sort of affliction, though. What is that? Let's see if it tells me about it. Uh, poison. Yep, I am poison. There is probability of being poisoned by animal bites or insect attacks. If not treated soon, it could lead to death. For relief, try eating ginger. I don't have any ginger. Okay, it said there's a chance. We'll probably be fine. Okay, where did I put those sticks at before I was so rudely interrupted? I don't know, I think I lost those sticks I stacked up earlier. That sucks. They're around here somewhere, but it's too dark to see. I can probably make a torch. Yep, wooden torch, four small sticks and a cloth. I've got that, there we go. And let there be light, kind of, directly in my face. Does this uh, illuminate pretty well? Uh, yeah, I can see, I can see better. Oh God, what is that noise? Why, why is there a spider? Oh my God, the spider's trying to kill me. Hate it in the jungle. Just want some sticks, little spider. Where'd you go? Still chasing me? Last thing I need to do is get poisoned by a spider. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go over here now. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna get some sticks from this part of the jungle. Ooh, a bottled note. Okay, we gotta read that. Just a minute. One thing at a time. Oh, another bottled note. Two bottled notes. Okay, I got a good amount of large sticks. I can carry six with me at a time. Uh, also, that poison wore off, thank God. So hopefully my health starts going back up. Don't really know if that's a thing or not. Or I might have to make some medicine. Clearly, I'm not in a position to make medicine already. So, yep. Okay, halfway done with the large stick pile. Still need a few more palm fronds. Need some water. Water break. 
My food, my water look pretty good. My sanity and my energy is kind of halfway down, but we're, I think I'm fine to keep working a little bit more through the night here. See if I can get this base done at least before the sun comes up. Hopefully when I break down that lean-to and that bed that I made, I get some of those resources back. That'd be nice. Hey, turtle. Might want to take a couple steps back. Just killed a Komodo dragon and you're looking real good. Speaking of that Komodo dragon, I should probably get that on the fire pretty soon. Yeah, let's fire her up. Come on, baby. Start for me. You got to hit the F button so hard. There we go. Got it. Ooh, a rotten crab arm is in my bag. So yeah, and a rotten banana. So yeah, got to keep an eye on that kind of stuff. But here's some fresh Komodo dragon. Hopefully there's like a preserving bin or like some sort of drying rack I can make. I'm going to put this spoiled food. I'll hide it behind the rock over here. Maybe there's a compost bin. Maybe I should hang on to it. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff you can make. I'm pretty sure I saw a compost bin actually. And also all those trees I cut down, they do in fact drop coconuts, which will give me the water. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier or not, but yeah, we got coconuts. I do want to see if we can cut one in half though. And what purpose would that serve me? Let's find out. Can you? Oh, you can. Sliced coconut. An empty slice I can use to mix ingredients. Oh, cool. We'll just keep those on the beach for now. And eventually I can mix some stuff up in them. Maybe some healing stuff. Are you done? Yep, done. Burnt. I burn it all. No, my prize kill has been burnt. This should be the last of it. And then basically this is done. Basically, mostly. Pretty much just need a roof on this thing. What time is it? 3.25 in the morning. Yeah, I'll put a roof on it and move my bed in here. Let's go ahead and do that. Start by smashing this apart. Hopefully I'll get a ton of these palm fronds back. That way I don't need much to make a new bed inside. Yeah, it broke. Yeah, I got three back. That's not bad. I mean, it's not good. It's not bad. I'll probably get back some from this too. I got three from the bed and only three from the lean to. Oh, whatever. Oh, I got some large sticks back. That's good. If I make this elevated bed, it says I get maximum rejuvenation for energy and stamina. Yeah, we're making that. Put it over here in the corner next to the window. That looks good. Fill it in with what I can. There, I did it. Food, water, shelter. So come inside, take a look. Got one piece of roof on. It's right over my bed and I even made a standing torch. But I'm about to go insane, so I've got to go to sleep now. You guys make sure to drop a like on the video if you want to see more of it. And I think on episode two, it's time that we explore this island. See if we can find our Uncle Seamus. Maybe even make a boat. Hop to one of these other islands. Plus, I've got two messages in a bottle. It's probably some pretty good lore. You like lore? I'll read them to you next episode. So don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, it's been your boy Lagan24. And I will see you uh, next time.